on 18th of next month, the people of Bonchari will be going to the polls to elect their new member of parliament. ODM party is sponsoring Pavel Oymeke. Jubilee party is sponsoring Zebedeo Opore, a former member of parliament. United Democratic Alliance of William Ruto is sponsoring Teresia Bitutu, who is the wife to the former member of parliament. And there are other several candidates. But the question which Kenyans are asking is just one. If ODM party and Jubilee party are in handshake, why are they sponsoring candidates in Bonchari? Because by doing that, they are giving chance to the United Democratic Alliance Party. The truth of the matter is that Jubilee Party and Rodium Party are sponsoring candidates in Bonchari because of Fred Okengo Matiangi factor in 2022. Fred Okengo Matiangi is the force behind the Jubilee candidate. Matiangi wants to test several things using the Bonchari by election. Number one, he wants to venture into Kisi politics. So if Sebedeo Opore is going to win, then Matiangi is going to win for the first time in Kisi as a politician. Number two, he wants to test his ability to control the Kisi. Who is the kingpin? So if he's going to win, again, he's going to be the kingpin. Because remember, Bonchari is uh, also the home home constituency to Simba Arati. Simba Arati had been installed as the Kisi spokesperson. And number three is also about 2022 politics. Some people somewhere told Matiangi that he must stamp his authority in Kisi politics ahead of 2022 to send a statement. So if Opora is going to win, Fred Okengo Matiang is going to have a member of parliament sponsored by him right inside parliament. But there are some odds against Fred Okengo Matiang, especially 2022 presidential bid. Political experience. Fred Okengo Matiang is not a politician, but is venturing into politics. Is he going to be able to succeed? Is Fred Okengo Matiang going to be the first Kenyan to come from outside the political circle to win the presidency? That's the first question. Number two, the Ministry of Interior also has a bad name and is tainting Fred Okengo Matiangi. But those are not the main topic for today. Today I want us to look at how Fred Okengo Matiangi factor is complicating 2022 political equation for Raila Amolo Odin. But before we do that, if you're watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two and click the subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. What we do on this channel for those who are new is very simple. We analyze politics in a way you can't find it any other place. So just click the subscribe button now. And to the subscribers, please kindly just give this particular video a thumbs up. Now let us get back to business. Fred Okengo Matiangi is one of the most hardworking cabinet secretaries in this country. And Fred Okengo Matiangi is the second most powerful individual in this country. And there's been talks that Fred Okengo Matiangi could actually be the compromise candidate for Raila Molo Dinga and for President Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta. Sometimes ago, last year, Members of parliament from the larger Kisi County challenged Raila Amolo Dinga. And Raila Dinga again responded to them over the issue of Fred Okengo Matiani. I want you to listen to the, the challenge and the response. Because basically what the Kisi leaders were telling Raila Dinga that we have our man ready for the presidency. <laughs> Leo tumefilikisha kijana letu hapa Mheshimiwa CS Matiangi. Sisi wazee wa Kisii wameambia Matiangi namna hii. Enda tafuta Raila. Akikaa leo 
ka hapo wacha uhuru katikati Raila akienda right enda huko Raila akisema turn left turn left kwa sababu Raila mheshimiwa Matiangi ndiye atakwambia siri zote bila hii Kenya hii na vile tunakuona kule kisi kisi wanasema baba usiba anchire umo mratu bwate na royo akaili gaitu na kwa jokisio wacho hii ndio dog ile ndume ambayo inatoshea ya kikisi sasa tumepeleka kwa uwanja Raila naonyesha 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 namna hii kama baba anasema kaa prime minister sawa kama baba anasema kaa president sawa na i will talk politics prime minister thank you without you we are no kenya without you there was no country some of the people talking here were not there when we were coming from the airport when we were being shot at they don't know what it means to lose a country mr matiangi dr matiangi stay close to that man that man raila moro dinga loves you sit close to him Wacheni kuniambia mimi fanya hii fanya hii mimi najua Tulieni kwanza mambo bado Unaona sasa mambo bado Tulikeni shina huru tukasema tutulie moto Tuunganishe wa Kenya. Wewe kama kitu kimoja. Tuleze makabila yote ya Kenya pamoja. Sio? Alafu tumalize mambo ya kabila, tupigane na ufisadi, tuwashike wale wa ufisadi yote tuweke ndani. Ndio <laughs> sawa sawa. Alafu mambo hii nyingine itakuja. Now from those statements, it is clear that Fredo Kingo Matiangi is either going to run for the presidency Fredo Kingo Matiang is positioning himself to be a prime minister or alternatively Fredo Kingo Matiang is likely to go back to Nyamira and contest for the gubernatorial seat back there but there are high chance also that Fredo Kingo Matiang could be considering running for the presidency of the Republic of Kenya but how is Fredo Kingo Matiang candidate going to impact on Raila Amolo Dinga. We want to make assumptions here that Fredo Kingo Matiangi is likely to run and Raila Amolo Dinga is also likely to run. How is Fredo Matiangi bid going to impact on Raila Amolo Dinga? Several ways. Number one, Fredo Kingo Matiangi acceptability in central Kenya. Now, if you've been following the politics of the larger Mount Kenya region, there's something which they've been saying that for them they just don't want Raila Amolo Dinga in fact the main reason why they are supporting William Samoei Ruto is because president Uhuru Kenyatta entered into handshake with Raila Amolo Dinga that's the main reason why they are supporting William Ruto in fact they, some of them always, always claim that William Ruto is not their favorite candidate they are only doing it because of Raila so we are in a situation where Raila Odinga is banking on the support of President Uhuru Kenyatta or the endorsement. And the president finds himself in a situation where he believes that the people of Central Kenya might not really embrace Raila Amolo Dinga. Then there is Fredo Kingo Matiang. The entry of Fredo Kingo Matiang into the presidential bid can be easily introduced to the people of Central Kenya or the larger Mount Kenya region. And the Kikuyus are likely to embrace Fred Okengo Matiang which means they can easily dump William Samoei Ruto. They can easily forget about Raila Odinga. And they can embrace Fred Okengo Matiangi in 2022. The only thing Fred Okengo Matiangi and those pushing for his bid are likely to do is to ensure that the running it comes from central Kenya. So assuming today the president decides to endorse Fred Okengo Matiangi because President Uke Nyata was very clear that his choice for 2022 was going to Shock us. So assuming today the president wakes up and decides that I'm going to endorse Fredo Kingo Matiangi, but on one challenge, on one condition, that's 
the running mate is going to come from Central Kenya. The chance of Central Kenya embracing Fred Okingo Matiangi is high. And the mere fact that Central Kenya can easily embrace Fred Okingo Matiangi, which can influence the president's support, then it means it's going to impact negatively on Raila Amolo Odinga. Number two is Fred Okingo Matiangi's performance. If you study the history of Fred Okingo Matiangi, he's one man who has always delivered delivered in all the ministries he served in. He has served in. Fred Okingo Matiangi introduced digital TVs in this country. Kenyans resisted. Kenyans wanted to stick to their analog TV. Fred Okingo Matiangi said, no, it's not going to happen. You must change. Today, Kenyans are enjoying digital TV, courtesy of Fred Okingo Matiangi. When Fred Okingo Matiangi was the minister for education, we all remember by the time he was taking over, the ministry was known for, for exam cheating. It is alleged that since he took, he took over, even the performance of students a bit credible, so that people started saying that those who sat for exams during, during Matiangi era were the real students. In fact, they are called Matiangi. So Matiangi's performance in this country is not questionable. So the entire country can easily decide that Uhuru Kenyatta failed Kenyans and his uh, Ruto. They don't want to do anything with Raila Mondo Dinga. So probably the next possible person is Fred Okeno Matiangi. And his performance has been good, so Kenyans can easily decide to vote for Fred Okeno Matiangi. And that's going to impact on Raila Amolo Odinga negatively. Number three is the Nyanza voting block. If today Raila Odinga were to run and President Ru Kenyatta were to endorse Fred Okeno Matiangi, because the fact of the matter is that Fred Matiangi also cannot run without the endorsement of President Ru Kenyatta. And he's also praying that Uhuru will endorse him and Raila Odinga is also going to endorse him. But let us assume that Uhuru is going to endorse him, then Raila is also going to endorse him. He's going to be the, 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 the surprise candidate. What will happen in Nyanza? It means Nyanza is going to be divided. The entire Kisi block is likely to vote for Dimantia. That's the honest truth. The other honest truth is that Korea, which has always voted against Raila, are also likely to vote for Matiani. Remember, Kisi, the population of Kisi in this country, is not small. Kisis are, in, are everywhere. In Akuru, they even have a constituency which, where they control. In Eldoret, they even have MCS elected there. You go to Mombasa, they are there. You go to Nairobi, finally they manage to, to find a constituency where they vote. So the population of Kisis is actually across the country. So if those votes, if these people have been voting for Raila Molodinga, let's say like in the last election in uh, Kisi and Jamira, it was almost 64% for Raila Molodinga, then it means those 60% will now get away. So Raila Odinga is going to be in problems, is going to be in trouble. Number four is I in the system. The truth of the matter is that Fredo King Matiangi is currently part of the deep state, is part of the system. And Fred Okingo Matiani, as we speak today, is also very close with Raila Amolo Odinga. Very close. He's also very close with allies of Raila Amolo Odinga. If Fred Okingo Matiani were to be convinced to contest for the presidency, and Raila Odinga is also contesting for the presidency, it means a lot of things, a lot of secrets he's been sharing with Raila Amolo Odinga. So he does this based on their friendship. Probably he will not tell Raila Amolo Odinga. So Raila Odinga's eye in the system will now be blind. And number five is the state machinery, or what we can call the provincial administration. Fred Okingo Matiangi is the cabinet secretary for interior. What does that mean? Simple. He's the engine of this country. Anything happening in this country, Fred Okingo Matiangi is aware of. Anything. And Fred Okingo Matiangi, being the cabinet secretary for interior, is controlling the provincial administration. And look at how these guys have really frustrated Ruto. Ruto had banked on using the government structure, the provincial or the county commissioner, the going back up to the, the chiefs or an assistant chiefs for 2022. But after their disagreement with President Ruto Kenyatta, Uhuru Kenyatta then decided to elevate Fredo Kengo Matiangi to the position of 
super cabinet secretary. That's the moment William Ruto started attending functions and even chiefs are not there. That's the moment William Ruto started at attending functions and the police are not there. And we, we started hearing William Ruto complaining. The state machinery at the provincial administration will go with Fredo Kingomatiang. Because remember, even the former provincial administration officials, people who are former DCs, DOs who are there during uh, the clamor for multipartism, they don't like Raila Molodinga. Because Raila Molodinga was recommending that once it takes over, the provincial administration is going to go away, and then we are, we were only going to have the county government. So it will be easy for Matiangi to incite even these guys against Raila Amunodinga. And lastly is the one Kenya movement. Who is likely to be the, their candidate? Not known. They might not agree. President Ru Kenyatta can decide to prevail on them to support Frederick Kingo Matiangi. And remember, Raila Odinga got majority of his votes from Cumberland, from Loyaland. Kalonzo Musyoka, leaving Raila Molodinga, means Raila Odinga might not get away votes from the Kamba region. Okay, for Msalem Dabadi, I'm sure Raila Odinga will still just have to compete with him in the Western Kenya. But it would have been good for Raila Odinga if one Kenya Alliance movement were with him. If you were to ask one Kenya Alliance movement today, or one Kenya movement today, to make a choice between Fredo King Matiangi and Raila Amorodinga, if President Ruki Nyata were to ask them, that, guys, look here, let us not cheat ourselves. We want you guys to make a choice between Raila and Fredo Matiangi. Who do you think one Kenya Alliance are likely to choose? They're likely to choose Fred Okengo Matiangi. And that's a big headache for Raila Amolo Odinga. I don't know what you think. Probably you have a different idea, but personally I strongly believe that Fred Okengo Matiangi factor is actually complicating the equation for Raila Amolo Odinga in 2022. Let me hear your thoughts on this matter. Thank you guys and please may you have a good day.